So I'm going to demonstrate the new Lima software, which is our new touch software for our Vivitech boards. I just want to take you through the process of how actually to work with the system. The first thing you want to do is create a folder to be able to work from. go into the Lima icon over here. So I'm just going to take any arbitrary one over here. And what it does, it brings up all the files that are, you've saved into that particular folder. Now what you can do is you can bring up multiple versions of files. You can bring up different file types. And you can place them wherever you want to. You can grab it, you can turn it around. So this can be used for a collaboration table. It can be used for multi-participant collaboration. I'm just going to close this one over here. You can annotate onto the actual information itself. I'm going to do one of these sheets over here. It's a little bit easier than video. Once I've annotated onto the screen, I can go across here and save a snapshot of what I've actually done. I can then keep the snapshot in there or I can remove the snapshot by doing this and just bring it across there and it saves in the corner. So that's saved into the folder that you created in the, the beginning. So the main thing with the Lima is that you can have a discussion around different elements of the presentation. So it's not just a case of having a PowerPoint presentation and you've got one slide after the other. You can actually bring up relevant videos, relevant audio clips, relevant if it's PDF, Excel, so anything to do with the actual topic that you're discussing about. But the nice thing is I could bring up another participant like that general over there, please come up here. And both of us can work on the uh, system at the same time. The main thing to remember with the Lima is to actually use more than one finger when you're moving the information around so that you can get total control because if you go onto there and if this is okay because it's a, uh, a normal spreadsheet here but if I'm bringing up a website which has got uh, tabs that you can touch on if you're just using one finger it'll be an active website and that's essentially what you can do with the Lima software. Okay. And there you go.